All right, folks. The founder of the fetish dating website FetLife.com, John Baku, unleashed a wave of pedophilic comments on an unsuspecting nine-year-old boy. Disgusting. And you're on FetLife. Why? Because your writings are on FetLife and it'd be a pain to move them to another blogging platform? In this video, I'll show you how to move your FetLife writings and pictures to a WordPress blog with a few clicks of your mouse using the free FetLife to WordPress converter. For this demo, I'll pretend that I'm John Baku uh, and that I actually had a moment of conscience and that I realized I need to ditch FetLife. Okay, here we go. Oh my god! The website I made is a terrible privacy disaster. It's full of security holes. I'm misleading people about their safety and privacy online. Individuals and community groups, they rely on me and my team at FetLife to keep them safe and in touch with their friends. But we're doing horrible things like censoring rape survivors, selectively enforcing our own rules, dictatorially blocking criticism using outright censorship and bogus DMCA takedown notices, and generally exploiting people's trust. What have I done? I need to get away from FetLife ASAP, but how am I going to take all my year's worths of writings and my hundreds of pictures and journal entries and photos of myself making racist jokes elsewhere? Shit! I've locked people into using FetLife like the corporate scum I now realize that I am. Oh, what am I to do? What's that? Meme wrote a tool to convert a FetLife user account to WordPress? Thank goodness! I'll make a free private WordPress blog and keep making racist jokes there. That way, fewer nine-year-olds will be subjected to my terrible, terrible judgment and mocking sexualization. Thanks, Mei Mei. You're welcome, John. I'm still waiting for a response to the uh, invoice that I sent you, but whatevs. Okay, so moving your stuff out of FetLife is really pretty easy. Just go to http colon slash slash fetlife.maybemame.com slash fetlife, the numeral two, WXR. Enter your connection details. I bet John Baku's password is I'm an idiot. And click the connect to FetLife and make my WXR file button. Be patient. If you've posted a lot of stuff like you have, John, it may take a while. This might be a good time to reflect on the horrific fact that the BDSM and fetish community have a 50% higher incidence of consent violations than the general populace, as measured by a recent NCSF survey. That means you can significantly increase your likelihood of getting raped or assaulted, and all you have to do is go to your local BDSM munch a few times. Safe, sane, and consensual, my ass. Anyway, you'll eventually be asked to download a file. Save that file to your computer. It's got all your FetLife writings and pictures in it. I've already downloaded a copy. Here. Next, go to wordpress.com and sign up for a new free blog. You can make it private if you wish, which, unlike FetLife, actually fucking means something here. Okay, then click sign up. From your new blog's dashboard, go to import from the tools menu. Then choose WordPress. You'll be asked to upload the file you saved earlier, so go ahead and do that. After the file uploads, you'll be given the option to assign authors to the posts you'll import, but you can leave all the settings at their defaults. Then click Submit. WordPress will tell you it's processing the file, and again, now might be a good time to reflect on the systemically abusive nature of the BDSM scene as a social institution. It's basically a worldwide cult that brainwashes whole demographics of people into believing that they need to suck some other demographic's metaphorical dick to feel fulfilled. That's evil. And people like Susan Wright, NCSF's executive director and recently hired FetLife community manager, are complicit in it. Once your import's been processed, you can return to your WordPress dashboard and happily note your posts and pictures and all their comments were imported successfully. Here's a couple. You can browse around and note that all the comments on his posts, all the post content, it's all there. In WordPress's media library, even the pictures on your profile in FetLife were copied over to your new blog on WordPress. The images are now on the WordPress blog. So that's it. In just a few clicks, you're able to take back control over your own content, to move it around wherever you wish, and never again rely on FetLife for anything. What's that? Still using FetLife because it's the place where you find out about the parties on Saturday night? Check out FetLife iCalendar, an easy way to sync your Google Calendar, Apple iCal, Microsoft Outlook, Yahoo Calendar, and many other calendaring tools with FetLife events without ever having to log into FetLife ever again. Yep, I said sync. My name is Meme, and I'm passionate about empowering people to own and control their own content. If you found this tool useful, please consider making a donation. Click the Donate button in the link below the video. 
And if you'd like to learn more, visit maybemaimed.com slash escape dash from dash vetlife.